The mathematics behind computer graphics is fascinating, especially when it comes to 2D and 3D projection. Whether you're creating a side-scrolling platformer or a first-person shooter, it turns out that how the graphics are transformed and manipulated before they reach the screen is very similar. As you might expect, 2D can be considered as just a special case of 3D, and in fact, that's how many frameworks and development tools treat 2D objects and scenes. It's a question of perspective, literally. We usually think of perspective as a feature only of 3D games, like driving games or first-person shooters, because they tend to look like the physical world looks. There are vanishing points where lines converge, and objects appear smaller the farther away they get. This is because they rely on perspective projection to render objects on a flat screen. But there's another whole category of projection called parallel projection that produces very different results. In fact, one kind of parallel projection called orthographic can turn a 3D scene into a typical platformer side view or a top-down 2D map. This allows 2D game developers to use today's powerful, feature-rich 3D development tools, then achieve the look and feel they want simply by changing the properties of the main camera view. This is the approach we'll take for our game. We'll use an orthographic projection to render it in the style of a classic side view platformer. Later, you might experiment on your own with other kinds of projections. They're fun to play around with. Isometric projection is popular right now. Think of Crossy Road or Monument Valley. At first glance, it looks like objects are drawn with perspective, but then you notice there's no foreshortening, which is a classic feature of perspective drawing. One time, in a harebrained attempt at optimization, I accidentally created a rather exotic projection in which all straight lines curved subtly, kind of like a fisheye lens, but not exactly. I was trying to simplify the math for speed and was experimenting with spherical coordinates. The result wasn't really practical for my purposes at the time, but it found its way into other projects later on. It was cool. <laughs>